This is probably one of the best uh, influencer boxing events that we've had in the last couple of years. Of course, KSI finally broke the cursed tweet. I mean, you could argue that knocking down a Mexican mannequin doesn't really count for shocking the world. But yeah, still gotta give some credit. Deji finally got his first ever dub since he boxed his ex-girlfriend in the kitchen. Slim continues to be an absolute beast and King Kenny manages to win once again thanks to these guys being the judges. I'm gonna give my shitty opinion that nobody asked for on each of the fights. So yeah, we're gonna start off with... So this fight only lasted a couple of minutes, uh, much like much like an aborted baby. The entire fight, Swarms was either running for his life or flailing his arms around like he's getting attacked by bees. His main strategy was to just teleport around the ring like a witch. Eventually, however, he ran out of his invisibility potion and had to flop on the ground like a fish. In the last knockdown in the second round, Swarms refused to get up reportedly because he spotted Jesus at the corner of his eye telling him to stay down and that is just not worth it. Also, side note, apparently KSI's hairstylist took inspiration from either Mount Fuji or an ice cone. Through the entire post press conference, JJ's head was constantly pointing up at the ceiling. He also had like an embedded beehive at the back of his head. The purpose behind this look, according to some rumors, is that KSI may be appearing in the upcoming remake of the Aliens movie. But yeah, KSI versus Swarms. I think anybody with two functioning eyeballs can see that Swarms was clearly robbed. So Digi obviously won, uh, this is probably my favorite fight in the entire card. Fuzi showed up looking like Kratos if he was on chemotherapy. Instead of being the god of war, it's more like the god of sitting on the floor. I think it's safe to say that it was a, a rough night for Fuzi. By the end of the fight, he vaguely resembled a bearded Voldemort. But yeah, I don't want to goof on him too much though, because he, he really is a dog. I mean, Fuzi does not give up. He stayed in that ring eating punch after punch. I, I thought it was Rihanna for a sec. Deji seemed really good. He's definitely improved. Um, I think the main issue that he had in the last fight is that he sort of forgot that in boxing, you're actually supposed to punch your opponent. But yeah, it's great that he decided to try that this time and he, he won. He took the dub. I have a feeling that Swarms has the same nutritionist that Deji had when he was going against Vinny, who needs to be fired, by the way, for making Swarms drink bacon grease instead of water. <laughs> Dean versus Evil Hero. Now, I'll be completely honest. I don't know who neither of these guys are. The winner, he sort of looks like a discount DDG. I actually thought it was him. But yeah, I just wanted to highlight the fact that he decided to snap his neck as a way to celebrate his victory. He has dreamed about this his whole life. Oh, fuck. You got anyone you want to call out in the heavyweight division? Oh, you know it, lad. You know that Hassan Piker. I'm coming to kill you in Los Angeles at your house or in the ring. No, in real life. This is probably my second favorite fight uh, after Deji versus Fuzi. Sam Hyde walked in there like a diabetic Walter White, except instead of methamphetamine, he's a he's a potato salesman. I really don't understand the whole thing with the Irish accent, but he's uh, hands down the most entertaining person on the card. And also being a complete fucking maniac, he of course ended up winning and he called out Hassan, who he didn't accept the fight, surprisingly. Look, dude, if you have, if you see a mentally ill Okay, on the internet, be like, I'm going to kill Hassan Piker. Okay, I'm going to come to his house and murder him. And you go, oh, this is some information that he should probably watch. Like, he should, he should watch and address this. Slim versus Face Temper. This was uh, this was quite the execution. Slim is definitely proved himself to be a different breed of human. Temper stood no chance, and uh, just about I think it was halfway through the second round. Slim, uh, he just decided to send them back to caveman times. I think everybody knew that this was going to be an easy fight for JJ, but man, I, I really didn't think it was going to be this easy. I mean, he might as well have just fought a broomstick. The kid looked like he weighs two pounds. He had already run out of batteries in the first 15 seconds of the fight and collapsed like twice in the first minute. The entire match, he looked like a confused mosquito, just like floating around the ring, getting the shit kicked out of him. Just constantly complaining to the ref, having flashbacks to when he got bullied in middle school. I mean, no offense to to the kid but he should have been on the undercard going against rice gum or somebody his size you know this fight is embarrassing when even true jordy starts losing his shit Mate, i think we found the only uh, soft mexican in the world here <laughs> this guy is in here for a quick payday to get the hell out of this country 
Okay, I think I forgot about Kenny versus Sensei, goddammit. So there's really not much to say about Face Sensei versus King Kenny. I mean, I, I really don't know what sort of prayer King Kenny does that he gets so lucky. Literally anybody with half a brain could see that Face Sensei won that fight. I mean, at least a draw. Like, there's no way King Kenny won that fight. If you watched it, yeah, literally nobody agreed with the decision. This is definitely gonna get a... Uh, it's definitely gonna get overturned. But yeah, I, I appreciate you watching. We have a Discord server. Go post some memes and uh it's been like 20 years since i started this channel and i still don't have a proper outro